Hello everyone, welcome to Educate 247. This is the 21st lecture on our special division series for CB Grade A 2020 examinations. In this lecture, we will be discussing the MCQs on ISLM model. The ISLM model is a part of the syllabus for economics for CB Grade A examinations. We have already prepared videos on different topics of economics, such as your demand and supply, market structure, national income, the monetary and fiscal policies. You can go through those videos as well to understand what kind of questions will be asked in the exams. Now, moving on to the first question, question number one. The IS curve illustrates that when income increases, the A interest rate must fall to restore equilibrium in the asset market. B interest rate must rise to restore equilibrium in the goods market. C interest rate must fall to restore equilibrium in the goods market or d interest rate must rise to restore equilibrium in the asset market so now the answer to this question is c the interest rate must fall to restore equilibrium in the goods market now to understand the answer to this question let us understand an is curve first is curve is your investment saving curve right this curve basically shows the relationship between interest rate and output or you can say income as well interest rate and income when the goods market is in equilibrium right and the downward sloping of the is curve this implies that whenever there is a decrease in the interest rate then there is increase in the investment which in turn increases the national income or the output See, whenever their, uh, their interest rate is lower, businesses are more inclined to invest because they are going to get loan at a cheaper rate. So the higher, the more the businesses invest, the more will be the output and the more will be the income. So we can say that interest rate and investment, they are inversely related to one another. Now let us look at the equation that defines the IS curve. So this is the equation that defines the IS curve. This is basically the equation for equilibrium in the goods market. Now, according to this equation, Y, which is your national income or output, is equals to consumption, which is a function of disposable income, plus investment, which is a function of interest rate, plus government spending, plus net exports. So out of these four components, the one that is affected by interest rate is your investment, right? Now coming to the question, what the question says is that there is increase in income. So there is increase in Y and how should we uh, adjust the interest rate, right? Now let us assume for a while that consumption, government spending and net exports, they are constant. There is no change in these components. So if there is increase in Y, that means the investment has to increase right otherwise this equation will not balance so to balance the equation if there is a rise in output then we have to increase the investment and we've already seen that investment and interest rate they are inversely related to one another right so a rise in investment this means that there has to be a fall in interest rate so that is how we come to this answer that interest rate must fall to maintain equilibrium in the goods market if there is increase in income. Now moving on to the next question, question number two. As we move down along the IS curve, option A, investment spending and saving both increase. Investment spending and saving both decline investment spending declines but saving increases investment spending increases but saving does not change so the answer to this question is a investment saving investment spending and savings both increase now uh, in the previous question we understood that whenever there is fall in the interest rate there will be an increase in the investment right because this is curve it is a downward sloping curve and interest rate and investment are inversely related to one another but what about the savings how will this uh, interest rate affect the savings now let's look at the equation once again 
See, according to this equation, the income is equals to consumption plus investment plus government spending. So let us assume for a while that this is a, a closed economy. So there is no net exports. All right. So let us only consider these three components. Now, what I what I'll do is I will bring this uh, consumption and the government spending to the right hand side. Right. So this equation will look like y minus consumption minus government spending is equals to investment. Right. Now y the income minus consumption minus government expenditure is nothing but your savings. So we can say that from this equation we can derive that saving is actually equal to investment. Right. One person's saving is another person's investment. So saving and investment are actually the same. So this curve, this not only represents the investment curve, this also represents the saving curve. So a downward falling of the interest rate will not only decrease investment, but it will also decrease the, sorry, it, it will not only increase the investment, but it will also increase the saving. So the answer here would be option A. Ed to Care offers various courses for CB Grade A 2020 examinations. We have comprehensive course for CB Grade A 2020, which includes syllabus of both Paper 1 and 2. Then we have MCQ courses for CB Grade A 2020 for Paper 2. And we also have CB Grade A 2020 crash course for Phase 1 and 2. You can apply with coupon code CB SCBI and avail discounts on comprehensive courses and crash courses. However, since MCQ courses are already at a discounted price, no further discount is available in this course. You can enroll on these various courses on the basis of your preparation stage. Moving on to the next question, question number 3. A decrease in money demand causes the real interest rate to dash and the output to dash in the short run before prices adjust to restore the equilibrium. Option A, rise, rise. Option B, rise, fall. Option C, fall, fall. Or option D, fall, rise. So the answer here is D, fall and rise. Now see, a decrease in money demand causes the real interest rate to decrease. The answer here is fall. See why? Because see, interest rate is nothing but the price of money. Okay. So whenever there is a decrease in demand for any goods, the price of that good will decrease, right? So the same holds true for money. Whenever there is decrease in the demand for money, the price of the money decreases and the price of the money is nothing but your interest rate. So whenever there is decrease in demand for money, the interest rate, it falls. And the output. Now what will happen to the output if the interest rate falls? So let us look at the figure of the LM curve here. LM is your liquidity and money supply curve, right? So initially the LM curve and the IS curve, right, they met at this equilibrium point E. Now there has been decrease in the money demand which decreases the interest rate, right? So interest rate falls from this point to this point. So your LM curve, it shifts downwards, right? So this is the new LM curve now. And the LM curve and IS curve now intersect at this point. So the new point of intersection is E dash, right? So what do you see? You see here that the output has risen, right? The output has increased from the initial point to this new point. So a decrease in money demand will cause the output to rise but the interest rate to fall. So the answer here is option D. Now moving on to question number 4. In terms of the ISLM model, an increase in tax rate should move the A. IS curve left, B. IS curve right, C. LM curve right, or D, LM curve left. So the answer here is A, IS curve to the left. Now let us look at the equation of the IS curve once again. See, according to this equation, the income or the output is dependent upon consumption, right? And consumption is a function of your disposable income. Disposable income is the income minus taxes. So consumption 
consumption is dependent on taxes the higher is the taxes the lower is the consumption and the lower the consumption the lower is the output or the income right so a higher taxes causes lower output so the output here shifts from here to here because it becomes lower and this in turn shifts the is curve to the left so previously the is curve was at this point and now it has shifted to the left at this point this is due to the decrease in your output so a decrease an increase in tax causes the is curve to shift to the left because the output here decreases question number five other things being equal decrease in autonomous consumption shifts the dash curve to the dash a is curve to the right b is to the left c lm to the left or d lm to the right so your answer here is again b is to the left now looking at the equation once again the equation of the is curve see the output or the income it depends upon your consumption right and autonomous consumption is that amount of consumption which a person consumes even if there is no income even if a person does not earn a person has to consume a minimum amount of something and that is called your autonomous consumption a decrease in autonomous consumption decreases the uh, total consumption right it causes lowering of the total consumption which in turn lowers the output or the income and the lowered output it shifts the is curve to the left as we saw in the previous uh, question that a decrease in output it shifts the is curve to the left right so any change in the components of aggregate demand such as individual expenditure organizational expenditure or government spending will affect the is curve is curve gives an overview of the goods market according to which a decrease in autonomous consumption will decrease the overall consumption level in the economy as a result the is curve will shift leftwards to explain the reduced quantity level in the economy so i hope you've understood the answer to this question so this was all uh, for today guys i hope you found the video useful if you found the video useful then do like and share the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos on different topics of cb grade 8 2020 examinations thank you